there we go. Um, hi everybody, welcome to a Snuggly Monkey unboxing. Um, it has been a while since I've been able to do one of these. Uh, we just had a lull in boxes arriving. Hello, hi everyone. Um, and so it's been a few weeks since I've actually had any boxes get here. And then this weekend, kind of everything arrived all at once. So <laughs> I've got lots of great uh, things to show you guys from Maison Saju, Merchant and Mills, um, let's see, Olympus is here, Wonderfil, uh, Felt, all sorts of things. So we are going to um, jump right in. And then after um, this unboxing, there is going to be a live for subscribers um, where I will show you guys some of the uh, new stuff that um, just has come in and um, isn't on the site yet. So um, stick around if you're a subscriber. Um, after this unboxing is done, I'll be jumping back on um, to give you guys a peek at that stuff. So. Uh, all right, so let's jump right in. Um, the first box is from Maison Saju um, out in Paris. Uh, well, they're actually in Versailles, but um, so we've got a good restock here of several of their great needles and notions. Hey, Kamora, how are you? Good to have you here. Um, so this is their embroidery needle uh, sampler pack. You get 15 embroidery needles, sizes numbers three through nine are in here. Um, and remember that with needles, um, hey Gloriana, aloha, um, the, I always get this confused in my head, but the smaller the number, the larger the needle. So the size three needle is the largest needle here in the center. The smaller the number, no, the larger the number, the smaller the needle. So the number nine needle is the smallest needle that's in here. Um, so I, that, as you can see, always gets turned around in my head, but, um, so this gives you a nice assortment of the Maison Saju embroidery needles to try out, um, see which size you like. Folks ask me all the time, and I know that there are wonderful charts that tell you exactly what kind of needle you should use with which kind of thread. Um, I tend to just, I love sample packs because I, I know what I like when I stitch with it, right? So um, I like the sample packs because then I can try out different sizes see which one feels the best in my hand, which one I feel like I have the most control, um, and that's kind of the one that I go with. So I have discovered that I tend to like somewhere between like a seven and a nine tends to be my um, favorite. I like small needles. Um, I tend to stitch with just two strands of thread uh, most of the time when I'm doing embroidery, so that's me. But embroidery packs give you um, the option to try all sorts of different things. So, uh, so that's what's in here. These are the milliner needles uh, from Saju. There's 15 milliners in here, and the milliner needles are the needles that have the um, eye of the needle is about the same size as the body. So these are fantastic for doing knot work, for doing French knots, colonials, bullions, all that kind of stuff, um, because it doesn't have, the eye doesn't bump out. So as you're pulling your needle through the center of the knot, it pulls through a lot smoother and a lot easier. So if you're struggling um, with French knots, uh, you should tr give a millinery needle a try um, and see if that helps with any of your knot work. Hello, everyone. It's so nice to see you all here. We've got some of their uh, pin sets. These are the adorable little cat and dog. And then there are the, this is their um, embroidery floss, the Retour de Nour. Uh, and the, uh, I don't have any because there's plenty of it here, but the Lansan Pierre, the wool thread is also from Maison Saju, but this is their cotton embroidery floss. And these come um, in these really sturdy, these boxes are great. I have a ton of them around here that I use for storing things. Um, they're really sturdy cardboard boxes. They come with the lid and then the whole set comes in the little box. Um, so you get, I think there's 12 colors that are in here. Ah! <laughs> This is the number one collection, which I think is the modern colors, uh, and you get um, 20 meters of thread per card. So um, lovely embroidery floss, very soft, nice to work with, and there are, I think, four different collections in here. 
And then um, we have the uh, floss bobbins are back. This is these are the colorful vintage ones. These have uh, been out of print for or kind of out of stock for a long time, uh, and so that's what they look like. And they come in six different colors. Um, these are floss bobbins for you to store your thread on. You wind it around the body here, and it's got a little notch uh, to keep your thread tail secure so that it's not unwinding. Um, these are really cute. They're just, they're made out of cardboard, nice thick uh, cardboard stock. They're not going to bend on you. Um, they're really, they're quite sturdy. Uh, so you get six uh, of these in a box and they come in all sorts of different designs. Um, I think the ones in here might just be the, there might be a couple other designs in here. There's the, um, the vintage collection is in here. The butterflies are in here. I also have um, the cyclists. I have a Paris collection. Um, we'll put that together later. Um, let's see what else is in here. I think that might be all the different designs that are in this box. Um, like I said, there's several that are um, in the shop but the little colorful vintage cards were the ones that had been out for a while. So those are now back. And now let's move over to England and take a look at what we have from Merchant and Mills. Um, there's a couple of goodies that have been out for a while in here. So these are their long darning needles. They come in these uh, adorable little wooden cases and these are, uh, let's see how many are in here. I think there's about 10 needles that are in the pack. Um, they're uh, slightly different sizes, so you get a couple different sizes to try. They all have a really good size eye so that they can fit uh, wool threads, thicker threads that you might want to be um, darning socks or mending with. Um, so those are the large darners. We have the uh, bamboo corner turners are in here. Uh, these are for when you are making pillows. Um, if you're, um, if you are sewing your sashiko samplers, you're preparing them. Um, I have a reel on how long are they, the darning needles. I am not 100% sure off the top of my head. Um, it just says assorted sizes uh, times 10, but uh, the sizes of them are written in the description on the website. I'm sorry, I just can't think of what they are off the top of my head. Um, so a uh, bamboo turner, a turning tool is for if you're prepping your sashigo samplers um, where you're sewing them kind of inside out and leaving a turning pocket and you pull your, um, your sampler through that little hole and then you gotta get your corners out so that it lays nice and flat. That's what this does. This gets right into the corners to push out um, your seams so that you have nice uh, kind of sharp corners. And that's what this little tool um, is for. And we've got a restock of the Merchant and Mills needle threaders. Um, these are filament style needle threaders, but they have a nice uh, metal plate that you can hold on to. Um, it's quite big. Um, so this is, and there's the filament is right there. So we've got some needle threaders in here. We've got the wide bow scissors are in here. Um, the Merchant and Mill stock had gotten low so there's lots of things in here that um, have been out of stock for a while and then we've got um, the big five inch uh, safety pins are back these have been out um, for quite a while they uh, were quite popular uh, when I debuted them earlier this year it might have been last year even um, but these you can use them for all sorts of things um, for just cute decoration, but they also, they work really well for holding your patterns, um, holding thread, sashiko thread, sashiko thread braids, thread through here really nicely, uh, your thread bobbins, um, 
uh, the cottage garden thread cards hang on here really nicely. So there's lots of different uses for this adorable little um, safety pin. So those are back. There's lots of treasures in this box. Oh, these are the um, the gold fine work scissors. So these are a sharp tipped uh, scissor and they are a very, very pretty kind of soft shade of gold, not super duper bright. Um, uh, these have been out for quite a while. I haven't, throughout the pandemic, they were really hard to get. So it's nice to have those back. And then I believe these are the black chalk pencils. They are. Um, so there you've got a black chalk pencil, um, which is somewhat of a hard thing to find. Um, uh, so this is uh, just exactly what it sounds like, a pencil <laughs> uh, with black to be able to draw out patterns um, and such. I use the clover white one almost all the time, um, but the black one can come in really handy as well, especially when you're marking on lighter fabrics. So we've got that in there. And I think that's everything in this box. Sorry for all the crinkling. Um, I really appreciate that Birching Mills does all that they can uh, to ship with minimal plastic um, and with minimal extra packaging, but it does make it kind of crinkly when I'm unboxing these things in front of you. Um, all right, so in here we have a restock of some of the ever sewn four inch hoops. Unfortunately, the seven inch hoops are still on back order. Um, I have no idea when they are going to be back. Uh, there's no estimates that I can find as to when they're going to have these back. It's been about four or five months now. Um, so hopefully soon, but I, unfortunately I don't know. But um, the four inch ones, here's a good restock of those. In here we have the clover tweezers. Um, I normally talk a lot about the super sharp uh, little tiny tweezers, but these are another great tweezer, especially if you're not a fan of the little tiny ones, if they're too small. Um, these are kind of a more traditional size tweezer. And if I can get them out of here, I'll show you. Um, so the tip of these is a little bit different. It looks almost like a little foot, uh, but it has a very, very sharp, the ends are very sharp and angled together so that you can get in there. But then you also have this little piece so it lets you get underneath stitches to be able to kind of yank them out if you're pulling out um, stitches that you don't like. And then you can grab it with the very sharp tip here um, or with the flat side there. So these are the Clover um, tweezers, stitching tweezers, I think is what they're called on the site. And they're a good option, like I said, if you're not a fan of the little tiny, of the little tiny ones. Um, we've got some of the Kai scissors. These are made in Japan, super sharp craft scissors. Um, these are four inches, and these have the cur these are the curved tip uh, style. So they have a little tiny curve to the end, which again lets you get underneath um, stitches, get really, really close to your fabric to be able to trim uh, threads and such. Um, they're great for applique as well. So those are in there. We've got some of the Tula Pink uh, Unicorn, Pink Unicorn straight pins are in here. And then we've got the, these are the Kai Seam Rippers. Um, these are quite different. If you've never seen a seam ripper like this, uh, that is the blade in there. And the way that this works is you put this um, inside of the seam that you're trying to rip open and then just pull up. Um, and that blade that is encased in those little plastic teeth there will snap the threads. Um, it's very fast, very efficient. And the nice thing is that um, it has the blade kind of encased in here so that you don't cut yourself, which is really nice. But it's very sharp um, and it does pull your stitches out uh, when you have to rip open a seam very nicely, quickly, and easily. Um, so they come in three colors. They come in the purple, teal, and pink. There you go. 
Um, so those are the Kai Seam Rippers. And then we've got one more thing in here. And these are the um, Tula Pink Prismatic uh, Hemostat. Um, and so what hemostats are, they are, um, there you go. They have, uh, there's little teeth inside of the tip here. And so you use these to grab your needle and pull it out when it gets stuck in places. If you're going through a lot of layers, um, back when I used to make Waldorf style dolls and attaching the head to the body, there's a lot going on <laughs> in there. Um, and so my knee, it was really, really hard to get my needle through all those layers of wool and fabric. Um, and so I used to use a hemostat for that all the time. I'd kind of get the needle as far as I could with my thimble, and then I'd grab the tip of it with the hemostat and give it a good yank, and that would get my um, needle through. So these can be really handy if you're doing uh, work on thick layers and you have trouble getting your needle through. The hemostat can be really, really helpful for that. up we've got a box from Olympus restocking Sashiko thread as ever <laughs> um, there's a never-ending flow of Sashiko thread into the shop uh, so we've got some fun Halloween colors right here actually and um, we've got some orange and some purple uh, is in here and some black um, is right there and then we've got these are the sample packs of the Olympus thin um, so the Olympus Thin is a sashiko thread that comes on the little balls. And these are all of the colors that are made in Olympus Thin. And you get these little adorable baby skeins of it um, so that each one has 10 meters. It's a great way to have lots of different colors of sashiko thread to be able to add different colors to all of your samplers. Um, this is, like I said, it's thin. It's thinner than the Daruma um, thread, so it's, it's quite fine, um, but it makes it perfect for Hitomezashi style samplers, the ones that have the single stitch that are quite dense. Um, this works really well, so if you want to play around with lots of colors, uh, this is a great, a great option. And then the cardboard that is backing the packaging is actually a, um, a thread card, so that you can, there's two of them, um, in here, that way you can take all 20 colors and wrap them around the thread card, keeping your thread organized. So you've got the thread and the organizer all in one package, which is really handy. Um, this is the um, the Alice Makabe uh, Spring Embroidery Sampler. These, if you haven't seen these embroidery samplers, they are um, absolutely beautiful. They actually come with the wooden frame, um, is in the kit. And then the, um, the Azumino fabric that is used for, that the sampler is printed on, is a Japanese style fabric that um, the way that it is made, it has this kind of wrinkled antique texture to it. It's very, very soft. Um, and it just, it, the, when you stitch on it, it gives this kind of background texture that is very, very pretty. Um, and so the kit comes with everything that you need. Your, thread, the um, instructions and the stitch diagrams translated into English, um, and then you've got your needles, your um, backing fabric is in here. The only thing that is not in here is an embroidery hoop. So you would need your own hoop, um, but then the frame is here for you to be able to frame and display your finished sampler. Um, there are four of these. All four seasons are available. This is spring, but there's also winter, autumn, and summer. Um, so they, I've seen pictures of all four of them um, up on a wall and they look really, really pretty. Um, of course, the mailman is here, so I'm going to have to take a momentary break to give him the packages and I will be right back. Hello. Hey, how's it going? How are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing well. Mm -hmm. Trade off with you there. All right, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Whenever you have a chance, so let's see if I can bring some more to more. Thank you so much. Okay, you have a good one. See you, you too.
and I'm back. <laughs> Those of you that um, watch these unboxings, I have tried so many different times trying to figure out uh, when the mailman's gonna come, and inevitably, no matter what time around lunchtime I pick, that's when they show up. So I apologize for <laughs> the little interruption there. Um, but lots of your kits are on their way, so that's, that's exciting. Um, this is the Olympus uh, Metallic Thread. It's a rayon polyester blend. Uh, this is the Black Rainbow, so it's a black base with, you can kind of see it there, um, Rainbow Flex in it. And then there's also gold in there. And then, what else is down here? Um, we've got a restock of the wooden flexi hoops. When the, when the Nerge hoops arrived a couple weeks ago, um, I let you guys know that I am carrying the Nerge wooden style flexi hoops. Those are made in Turkey um, and they come in sizes bigger than six inches. Um, I'm For the smaller sizes, I'm sticking with the um, Olympus uh, flexi hoops. These are all made in Japan um, and these come in oval and round. Uh, from six inches down to three inches. Um, so that's what's here is lots of those flexi hoops. We've got more sashiko thread. And then there are lots and lots of samplers, needles, thimbles, all the good. Um, oh, and there's actually some Koki clips in here as well, which I wasn't expecting. Um, so Koki clips are these little circular clips that are used for making bags, um, particularly the uh, Japanese rice pouches. If you can, instead of uh, sewing in a channel for your drawstring, you can leave the top of your bag uh, closed without a drawstring channel. And then you attach these with a pair of pliers and you run your cord through the little holes. Um, it makes it really easy to turn almost any bag into a drawstring bag, um, and they they look great with the um, the Japanese the rice pouch um, bags. So that's what these are. I normally have them in silver and in gold. Um, I think the gold. I wasn't expecting the silver ones. I thought they were um, all sold out at the moment, but um, we've got a couple of silver ones in here, so that's exciting. And. There's more samplers here at the bottom, um, and there is the really cute little Halloween sampler. Um, I've always had it in white, but it's now available in black as well, um, so I'll be adding this to the shop hopefully this afternoon. Um, I, you, I made this sampler several years ago, and I turned it into a trick-or-treat bag for my kids. Um, I should have pulled it out to show it to you guys, but I'll take a picture of it and post it at some point. Um, it's a really cute sampler and it, tr it makes a great trick-or-treat bag. I just turned it into like a basic um, tote. It was pretty easy to sew um, and the sample, it looks really cute. So, um, so the Halloween samplers are back and like I said, it's both the white fabric and now um, on black, which should be really fun to stitch up with some of these bright Halloween colors. Right. So the last two boxes uh, we have are, this is filled with felt. Um, this is some of the polka dot felt in carnation and in pink, which the camera is not picking up, but these are actually two different shades of pink. Um, and then we've got big, large sheets of, this is um, European 100% merino wool felt. Um, uh, so this is a restock of several of the colors that I was running low on, particularly the white. Uh, so if you enjoy doing any of the uh, felt embroidery kits, um, that's, this is great. Uh, wool felt is also a great backing to finish up your hoops. If you cut a circle of wool felt the same size as um, the outside of your inner hoop, and then you can whip stitch that um, onto the fabric from the front of your hoop, um, and then that'll close off the 
back of your hoop so you can't see your stitching makes it look really nice and neat um, and just pick a, a felt that kind of coordinates with your hoop and then on that piece of felt you can attach um, a, a woven label onto there you can make your own label if you're gifting it to someone uh, so there's lots of different things that you can do when you back your hoops um, in that way with some fabric so we've got lots and lots of wool felt there are um, there are some great uh, the PDF download library is slowly getting bigger um, and there's lots of great wool felt PDF patterns available on the shop from both Lolly and Grace and Little Deer. Um, Amy Ray, uh, we just uh, added some more of her autumn themed wool felt kits. So there's, um, there's a really, really cute one of all of the um, monsters. So there's uh, the Bride of Frankenstein is in there, Dracula, um, so that you could make uh, a full set of little dolls or you can turn them into like a Halloween garland, which would be really cute. Uh, she also has an autumn leaf uh, pattern that uh, you can turn into a wreath. Um, then she's got a calavera pattern uh, with the two, uh, the Day of the Dead um, skeletons. Uh, and there's another Halloween one that I'm kind of blanking on right now. But um, so if you are looking for some great wool felt patterns, things to do with the wool felt, take a look through the PDF download um, library up on the shop and um, and hopefully you'll find something that you would like to do so that's what's in here is wool felt and then the final box um, is from Wonderfill and this is basically a huge <laughs> restock um, for the Wonderfill pearl cotton cabinets uh, several of the colors uh, have been running low so this should restock all of them when I first got the cabinet, I had mentioned that um, this is going to be replacing the Finca Pearl Cotton, um, and that is starting to um, sell out. So what's left of the Finca Pearl Cotton is it. I'm not going to be restocking that cabinet. Um, and I am going to be creating the color thread sets with the Wonderfill like I had with the Finca, so that if you want um, a color wheel set of Pearl Cottons, I'll, yeah, I'll have that um, here in the Wonderfill. Um, but the first round, uh, folks kind of really gravitated and I didn't have all the colors available to me, um, but hopefully with this restock, I can start building some of those, um, color sets for you guys to be able to order these as sets as well as individual, um, little balls. So this is a five gram, um, ball of size eight pearl cotton, uh, and I have the entire cabinet. So Wonderfill has a hundred, uh, solid colors. Um, and they're all they're all here, which is really nice. So that's what um, is in here. And then also a couple of their this is their um, spaghetti. This is their 12 weight thread. So 12 weight um, sewing thread is about the same thickness as two strands of embroidery floss. So this is the same as the sulky petites. If you like um, stitching with those, this is the same thickness. So this is just uh, something that you can use for hand embroidery, uh, but without having to divide it down. You can just pull it straight off the spool and stitch with this. But these spools also work on sewing machines. So you can also use this in your sewing machine. Um, on my feed a couple days ago, I posted a picture of a quilt that I finally have pulled out of my cabinet of wonders. Um, and I'm going to be working on, and I'm actually going to be quilting it with 12 weight thread because um, I want the stitches. It's a really simple patchwork flannel quilt. So I actually want the quilting stitches to be visible and I um, kind of want a bolder straight line. It's very simple quilting. Um, and so 12 weight thread kind of shows up better. Um, it doesn't really blend in. It makes the, the quilting stitches pop out more. So um, I'm actually going to be using some of this 12 weight thread to quilt that quilt. Uh, but I have done um, a couple of embroidery patterns with the 12 weight, the hand embroidery patterns, um, and it's it's just so easy to use because you don't have to divide it down. You just pull it straight off the spool, uh, and it's it's great. So um, this is the brights, and that might be all that's in here. Um, I think they were out on a couple of the other. I know I have the neutrals, and I think I also have the tropics in the shop, um, but the other ones I think were out of stock at the moment. So 
So there you go. Um, that is, I believe, everything that I have um, around here. Uh, there is more stuff um, coming. A couple of things that showed up uh, last week. There was a restock of the uh, Candy Club. Candy is here. Uh, so all of the Halloween candies are back. The Witch's Brew, um, the Missing Body Parts, the Spooky Spiders, the um, Candy Corn Puffs, all of those are back. And some of the new holiday collection is here as well. Um, there's little gummy Christmas trees and snow flurries. Um, and there are chocolate covered cherries that are absolutely delicious. Um, we opened them when they came in over the weekend at my house and the jar is almost gone. Every time I walk by it, um, it seems to get lower and lower. So I think there are fans of those chocolate covered cherries in my house. They are, um, covered in both white chocolate and, uh, I think it's milk chocolate or dark chocolate. I'm not sure, but anyway, they're delicious. <laughs> so those are now all, um, in the shop. Also a box from, um, Girl of All Works arrived with some new um, holiday uh, washi tapes, uh, for, perfect for Halloween. Um, there's some little monsters and Halloween night. Um, thank you so much for such an awesome unboxing, Miss Claudia. Seeing all the new treats really does make my week. You're so sweet, Muffy, thank you so much. Um, it's, my, it's my pleasure, I enjoy doing these. I've missed doing these, uh, but like I said, there had been kind of a, a lull where there just wasn't a lot of stuff that was arriving. So hopefully um, a couple more things I'm expecting this week will arrive and I'll be able to do another one of these for you guys next week. Uh, let's see, Come things coming up. We have the next open studio is next week on Saturday, October 15th. Um, and then in November, we have uh, two open studios, I believe. On the third and then we'll be doing a shop small Saturday sale and we'll be open on shop small Saturday this year um, so November 26th um, we won't be open on uh, Friday the 25th though uh, and then we'll have another one um, the following week in December as well so we've got a couple more open studios than normal um, coming up uh, now as we enter the holiday season and yeah, keep an eye out. There are um, some really, really awesome new things that are arriving. Um, subscribers, we will dive into those boxes um, in just a minute after this. Uh, so keep an eye out on the new arrival section. Uh, I've started putting some of the brand new kits up last night. Um, so if you want to peek, go head over to the new arrival section um, and take a look at that. Uh, I also, um, if you notice on the website, um, we've added a new feature for you guys, a new um, package insurance so that uh, you can now insure and um, protect your package, especially again, as we're heading into the holiday season where there tends to be a higher um, <laughs> chance of packages going on adventures and not quite making it to where they're supposed to be. Um, you can now add package insurance to your orders. So hopefully that'll add some peace of mind um, and they are delivery, it's a delivery guarantee insurance. So if the package does not make it to you for whatever reason or it gets damaged um, en route, then the claim process is really easy. So, um, so you should see that now available uh, when you check out. Uh, we um, set that up this morning, we finished putting that, all the finishing touches on that. So you should now see that um, as an option when you check out. So hopefully um, that will, like I said, bring some folks some peace of mind um, as we go into the holiday shipping season of fun. Um, and that's it, that's all I have for you guys. <laughs> um, the new uh, limited edition kit uh, launched on Friday. Um, it is the Woodland Wreath from Florals and Floss. Um, Alex's design is adorable. Um, it's, uh, I still have both the, uh, floss card and the full skein, um, sets and a little bit later on this week, um, probably on Thursday or Friday, um, I will, uh, jump on live again and show you guys the entire kit, um, and, um, I'll start stitching some of it. The kit is, uh, mostly, it's all satin stitch, which I know is terrifying for some folks. Um, but I am going to be doing some uh, lives and stories on exactly how I do my satin stitch. Um, and hopefully those tips will help you if you are nervous about satin stitching. Um, hopefully some of those tips will help you um, 
get over that fear. There's also some great tutorials. Um, Anne from Lolly and Grace on YouTube has a two-part satin stitching tutorial. If you type in Lolly and Grace satin stitch into YouTube, it'll pop right up. Very clear. Anne's videos are fantastic. Um, definitely check that out if you're looking for some satin stitching help. So, all right, my friends, uh, have a wonderful week, and I will see you all again soon. Thanks so much. Bye.